to down home post-apocalyptic cooking. I'm Ethel. Hi. And today, we're going to learn how to make a casserole out of dirt with a pebble garnish. So you come on right back. <laughs> Where the hell else are you going to go? <laughs> For the next 30 minutes, we are in control of your television set. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can make the picture brighter. We can blur the focus or bring the picture to crystal clarity. We can program your VCR. Well, well, kind of. Well, we're not really sure about that multiple event, multiple day thing. A anyway, we can make you like oat bran. We can run in the house with scissors. We can go swimming without waiting an hour after eating. Don't you try this, however. Clearly, we can do all kinds of cool stuff, like taking you on an adventure. An adventure from the inner mind to DQD, Comedy Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, a dramatic reading by Craig Legance of John Avilson's The Karate Kid, Act Two, Scene one. Give me 50 push-ups on your knuckles. We did not train to be merciful here. Mercy is for the weak. Here, in the street, in competition, a man faces you, he is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? Hey, come on, Mr. Miyagi. Let's get out of here. Wait, not yet. I heard you jump some of my students last night. Afraid Fox mixed up. You calling my boy a liar? No one called no one nothing. What are you doing here, old man? Come ask Lee boy alone. What's the matter? The boy can't take care of his own problems? One to one problem, yes. Five to one problem, too much ask anyone. Oh, so that's what's bothering you. The odds. Well, I think we can work something out. You like matching, Mr. Lawrence? Yes, Sensei! Eh, uh, no more fighting. Hey! This is a karate dojo, not a knitting class. You don't come into my dojo and drop a challenge and leave, old man. Now you get your boy on the matter, you and me are gonna have a real problem on our hands. Too much advantage. Your dojo. Name the place. Tournament. You got nerve, old man. Real nerve. But I think we can accommodate you. Can't we, Mr. Lawrence? Yes, Sensei! Ask one more small request. Make it fast. Ask Lee Boy alone to train. <laughs> You're a pushy little bastard, ain't you? But I like that. I like that. Okay, no one touches a prima donna before the tournament. Is that understood? Yes, Sensei! But your boy doesn't show and it's open season on him and you. All right, gentlemen. Next on the agenda, our line of Christmas toys. Peterson, what have you come up with? Uh, well, sir. I've been working on a new concept for a figure, and I call him Man of Peace. And I believe that he will be teaching children a much different message. Does he come with accessories? Yes, yes, he could come with accessories. Expensive accessories? Sure, they could be expensive. Good, good. I'm sorry, please go on. Um, well, anyway, I believe that he teaches children the value of peace, and I think that this has tremendous marketing potential because... Because he... kids will have to buy each accessory separately. Not just accessories. We'll sell more than one Man of Peace action figure. Right. Man of Peace can change his form at will, and we can make a doll for every possible shape. And he's got friends, the Peace Marines. They have all sorts of weapons, each sold separately. And he lives in the impregnable mountain fortress of Gar. Gar. Yeah. We'll make it three feet tall with high-tech effects, powered by a battery that only we make. 
without the battery. He lives in the fortress to protect himself from his evil arch enemy, Dr. Dismember. Sold separately. And his torture troopers, 1799. And they have their own entirely different line of weaponry. But sometimes, Man of Peace leaves his fortress and goes to other locations, which we can sell for 60 bucks and up a piece. He goes to rescue innocent civilians who have dismemberable body parts, which get lost easily and have to be replaced for four bucks and up a piece. And we'll have a breakfast cereal with little marshmallow body parts. Kids can be like Man of Peace and put the body parts back together. Brilliant! And we can sell CD with his theme song. An American hero, he's man of peace. His nauseating enemies, he'll mercilessly grease and take their bloody carcasses and bring them to the police and hang their rotting viscera above his mantelpiece. He's man of peace! Yeah! Excellent, excellent. That was what you were going to say, wasn't it, Peterson? Yes, sir. Good. Now let's get started. I'll write the press release about our new toy and its message of brotherhood. Get on. I'll contact the cartoon division. We'll have a Saturday morning Man of Peace action cartoon ready in a few weeks, if we don't sweat the animation. Pop to it. We can string three cartoons together and call it a movie. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, Peterson. This Man of Peace is the best idea you've ever had. Thank you, sir. But that name. Man of Peace, Man of Peace, it, it doesn't seem quite appropriate, does it, Peterson? Well, you see, sir... I mean, it just doesn't seem to fit his character. Sir, the whole point to this was that... Oh, don't worry about it, Peterson. I'm sure we'll think of something. I... Wait, I've got it. We'll call him Vortron, Death Commando for Peace. That's much better. Don't you think, Peterson? The name's Knight, Johnny Knight. I'm a private eye. My beat, the city. The city. Sometimes it's a lost love whose memory haunts you. Sometimes it's a friend who's there when you need a friend. And sometimes it's your seventh grade shop teacher, Mr. Russell. Big, stupid, smells real bad, and is missing a finger. It's the kind of city that can rip your heart out, brainwash it into thinking it's your liver, and cram it back into your body. The kind of city that'll pick your last for dodgeball, just because you're a little on the effeminate side, as if there's something wrong with that. I was on the toughest case of my career. My partner had been kidnapped. I had to find him. Not that we were that close. He had the key to the bathroom. I had to work fast. I was going to have to use a little muscle on this one. Lucky for me, I got a lot of little muscles. I was tailing this dame. She was never out of my sight. I kept at least 40 yards away. Not because I was afraid she'd spot me, but because of the restraining order. The name's Knight. Johnny Knight. I'm a private eye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Neil Barnard. As a doctor, I know the value of low-fat, high-fiber diets. Does that mean people should quit eating animal products? Well, I can tell you that Mother Nature did not design us to be carnivores. Our teeth, intestinal structure, and dietary needs are geared toward plant foods. 
Small wonder today's American diet is causing so many health problems. Get the facts. Write the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, Washington, D.C., 20015. This bean contains a nutrient vital to the birth of a healthy baby. It's called folic acid, and it's found in beans, green leafy vegetables, fruits, and vitamin pills. Without folic acid, your baby could be born with life-threatening birth defects. That's why the March of Dimes says that before you get pregnant, you need folic acid in your diet every day. So if you don't think this can make a difference in the health of your baby, you don't know beans. Preventing birth defects starts before you're pregnant. Get the facts. Call the March of Dimes. Hi, I'm Ron Feligno for DQD Comedy Theater, and I'm here to tell you that violence rhymes with I'm a big, stupid, moron, loser, no friends geek whose life will go absolutely nowhere as long as I continue this life, stylence. So please, stop the violence. And now, medical adventure on the high seas with Pirate Proctologist. Arg! Sending me next patient! Arg! Ha <laughs> And now, scenes from next week's episode of Pirate Proctologist. Arrgh! The problem's not hemorrhoids after all, matey! The problem's right here! A dramatic reading of the part of Maria from West Side Story by Alfred Hitchcock. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. I also feel charming. It's alarming how charming I feel. I certainly hope the Jets and Sharks decide to cancel their rumble tonight. I have a feeling there will be murders on both sides. Good night. Hear me, O oh children of Israel. Anyone who has to go to the bathroom, you better go now. We are not stopping once we are on the road. All the animals in the zoo are jumping up and down for you. Remember the talking storybooks in Zoo Keys that unlock the wonders of the natural world? Well, they're back. Talking storybooks in Zoo Keys are the fun way to learn about all the animals in today's Philadelphia Zoo. Bring along your old zoo key or pick up a new one today and start a new family tradition. It's all happening at the Philadelphia Zoo, your key to the kingdom.
You've come, as I knew you would. Are you always this arrogant, this insufferably cocksure of yourself? When I know what I want, what you want, perchance care for a game of billiards? No. Cards? Rather not. Foosball? Perhaps later. Oh! This is madness, insanity. Why is this happening to me? Why me, of all the women in the world? Why not my sister Valerie? Surely she's a fairer face than I. Certainly she's of readier wit. Why not her? Because, my dear, Valerie has a big fat ass. Oh. But enough talk of your sister. Arm wrestle? Oh. oh, this is madness, insanity. Is it madness to follow the call of one's heart? If that be madness, then yes, call me mad. Is it insane to want something so badly that one would risk the world? If so, then yes, I am insane. Is it madness to rub under a deviled ham all over one's body? To shove a chihuahua down one's pants? To roll about on the ground and make howling noises whenever one hears the word father? Father? If all this be madness, then yes, indeed, Rooney, I am mad and glad of it. Have I told you how beautiful are your eyes? No, you haven't, but there is my husband. The devil take your husband. Have I told you how you excite me? No, he is killed to defend my honor. Have I told you I'm a bleeder? I can't show you a note from my doctor. Oh, gosh, what time is it anyway? Must be that blasted scarlet fever. <clears throat> I have no penis. However, I have so enjoyed this all too brief visit of yours and do so look forward to our next rendezvous. Oh, if you only knew how much I hate him. Everyone lives in fear and terror of him. But I know you are not afraid, my dearest. Oh. He is nothing but a bully and a coward. And if not for his enormous size and strength, I'm sure he would fear his own shadow. His years in an elite assassination team in the army have given him a false sense of bravado which makes up for his lack of courage. Oh, if only those men in Portland, Wichita, Buenos Aires, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and the Quad City areas had stood up to him. Oh, if only someone had had the courage to testify against him when he killed those seven gentlemen friends of mine in Maniunk. But I know this monster's trail of blood and violence will end here and now with you, my brave, brave warrior. Yes, yes, you bet. Your love gives me the strength of ten men. Well, at least seven or eight. Yes, let's definitely call it eight, shall we? No, seven. Mm, six, six burly men. Of course, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to thresh Godzilla within an inch of a psychopathic and terrifying life. However, there is the problem of my religion, which unfortunately forbids me from making a fist, except when I... But that's not important. What is important is... Hawk, do I hear the paper boy making his delivery? Paper, do be a dear and get it, won't you? He is girding his loins to do battle against that swine of a husband. May God grant you strength, my stallion. I love him, I love him, I love him, and where he goes, I'll follow, I'll follow, Taxi. I'll follow. Tra la 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 Oh, taxi! Hi, kids. I'm David Hasselhoff of the hit TV show Saved by the Bell. I just want to tell you that if an adult ever touches you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, go and tell an adult that you can trust right away. Now if you're not sure who to tell, tell a police officer or a teacher at school. If you're ever in a situation and you feel even the slightest bit uncomfortable, tell your brother, tell your neighbor, 
Tell your imaginary friend. Just tell someone. Unless it's me, of course. And don't tell anyone. See you on the beaches. This bean contains a nutrient vital to the birth of a healthy baby. It's called folic acid, and it's found in beans, green leafy vegetables, fruits, and vitamin pills. Without folic acid, your baby could be born with life-threatening birth defects. That's why the March of Dimes says that before you get pregnant, you need folic acid in your diet every day. So if you don't think this can make a difference in the health of your baby, you don't know beans. Preventing birth defects starts before you're pregnant. Get the facts. Call the March of Dimes. You know, I've done a lot of amazing things. People say, Bo, you've run through some of the toughest defenses in the NFL. You are an MVP in an all-star game. Bo, what else is there? Well, today, I found out. Navy, find out more from a Navy recruiter. The bean. The bean. The bean. The bean. The bean. The March of Times nose bean. Bow nose navy beans. Thomas? Uh, yes, it is. Mr. Thomas, this is Debbie calling from AT&T. According to our records, you switched your long-distance service to MCI. I'm calling to see if you would like to switch back to AT&T. Well, I'm satisfied with MCI in any way. I really don't make that many long-distance phone calls. Did you know that AT&T long-distance rates are actually very competitive with MCI? Plus, of course, you get that AT&T quality and service. I think I'll stick with the company I have, you know, for now anyway. We can switch you back at no cost to you. And not only that, if you switch back now, we'll give you your first month's long distance calls absolutely free. Absolutely free? Gee, is that anything like relatively free? No, I mean, it sounds like a good offer, but like I said, it really doesn't matter one way or the other which uh, company I'm using. We'll do I mean. your laundry for a year. Excuse me? We'll do your laundry free for one year. Shirts, underwear, you name it. We'll even match your socks for you. Fluff and fold, Mr. Thomas. That's our motto here at AT&T. Uh, thanks, but like I said, I Kathy really... Kathy Wilkins! What's Kathy Wilkins have to do with this? You'd like a day with her, right? Well, switch back to us, and it'll happen, Mr. Thomas. We'll even put it in writing. I'm a woman, Mr. Thomas. I talk to other women. Do you know what we want? How we think? How we feel? Our innermost thoughts? What turns us on? Mr. Thomas, women want a man with strength. A man who isn't afraid to be gentle and tender. A man, Mr. Thomas, who isn't afraid to switch his long-distance service. Look, this is getting just a little bit ridiculous. I mean, this... My mother needs an operation, really. I'm her only means of support. If I lose this job, I don't know what I'll do or what'll happen to Mom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, lady, I, ju I just don't appreciate any of this nonsense. Oh, this is you a don't appreciate? You don't appreciate? You smug little bastard. Mr. God's gift to long-distance phone calls. Do you think Susan Morris would appreciate your telling all your friends how you... Now, how did you so charmingly phrase it? Nailed her. We both know what really happened, don't we, Phil, babe? Does the phrase, this never happened to me before, sound familiar? It should, since according to our records, you've had occasion to say that, uh... Oh, oh, let's just say 15 times and leave it at that. I mean, there's no need to get personal, is there, Phil? Uh, you said the first month is free? Was free, Phil, was free. But that was before you got just a little too snotty with me. But I think we understand each other a bit better now, don't we? I think so. Now, as I was saying, upon switching back to AT&T, you will be billed the nominal fee of $25. Is this understood, Mr. Thomas? Yes, ma'am. As to future expenses, we'll just play it by ear and see what we come up with. Bye-bye, and thank you for switching back to AT&T. is so versatile, but make sure you cook it or you'll get worms. Well, that's all for today, so bye! <laughs>